All right, today I'm going to be walking through the process to be checking your Ford Gold coolant for uh, its SCA additives and whatnot. I'm not going to go into the whole discussion of uh, green versus gold versus red. That's a whole other topic. This is just for um, just for checking your gold coolant. Maybe you can't switch because it's a fleet vehicle or whatever. I'm going to show you how to change it. I'm going to be following the procedures outlined in a Ford TSB. I'll provide a link to the TSB if you want to read it. Um, it's a pretty easy procedure. Um, but let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you're going to do is you're just going to look at the coolant color. You can see it sitting in there, and it's actually a gold color. It's hard to tell because this bottle's it's aged and yellowed, but um, the bottles are originally clear, and and they'll uh, you'll be able to see the gold color. You can drain it a little bit if you want, or stick your finger in there, whatever you want to do. Gold color. Next thing you want to do is you want to check the temperature. It needs to be between 50 degrees and 130 degrees Fahrenheit, of course, because we are in the United States. But uh, elsewhere, that would be uh, in Celsius, of course. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my uh, infrared thermometer, just point it down in there, get the temperature. I'm at 117 degrees, so I'm below 130. So we can do the test. Okay, so I'm going to take my test strip, I'm going to dip it in there for one second. And you want to be careful not to touch those pads on the end. So I'm going to dip it in there for one second, I'm going to pull it out and wait 45 seconds and read it. Shake it off, set it off to the side. Okay, so you're going to take your test strip after about 45 seconds and you're going to compare it. The top little square is going to compare to this top row. And you can see mine's kind of orange. You probably go in here somewhere. It might even be weaker than that. Um, I know my, my concentration's pretty low. So uh, that tells me it's probably right in here, probably about 30%. The second square would be on this, this column right here. But we're not going to use that for this purpose. And then the bottom square is this row down here. Uh, mine, you can see, kind of compares to... Uh, kind of between 3 and 8, closer to 300. So what that means is I do need to add some additive to my coolant. Uh, if it's above 800, you're okay. If it's below 300, you need to add coolant. So if it's between 800 and 300, you're going to need to go buy a bottle of the, uh, the additive and add that. I believe it's 32 ounces. And if it's below 300, you probably just need new coolant. Um, so tomorrow I'm going to go buy, it's pretty close to 300, but it's a little bit more than that. So tomorrow I'm going to go buy a bottle and add it. I know it's fresh coolant, so it's probably just diluted. Uh, I did have a problem and it got diluted at one point. So that's how you, uh, you measure your, your Ford Gold coolant. It's pretty easy. Um, a lot of people, I said I wouldn't get into this, but a lot of people like to go to the red coolant because you don't have to do this. Um, do your reading, do your research, decide if that's what you want to do. Um, but if you do have four gold coolant, it is important that you maintain the SCA additive. And this is how you test it. This should be done. Oh, I think it's. I think it's uh, every couple months. That's at least when I do mine. Um, so I'd say it's pretty easy, but uh, you do need to stay on top of it.